Working with young people can be rewarding, it can also be challenging, but often you can learn more about yourself and improve your delivery by working with those challenging young people. Every so often you're going to be challenged. You're going to have a few individuals who will be hell-bent on testing you to the nth degree. The secret here is to not take any outbursts personally. When working with these young people, if we keep that in mind, we'll have a successful engagement. In this video, we give you 10 tips on how to get the best when working with those challenging groups. Number one, establish the rules right from the start. Young people need to know three things. Who's in charge, what the rules are, and that those rules will be enforced fairly. Tip number two, identify the influencer and get them on side. Make them a leader. Get them to work with you for the greater good. Number three, encourage physical movement. Some boys find it difficult to sit and listen. They may have a different learning style that is not served by the traditional chalk and talk. So try a different approach. Encourage physical movement. Take it outside maybe, give them space to move. Tip number four, gamify your teaching. Boys love competition and team sports. So gamify your teaching. Split the cohort into teams, assign a team leader to each team. Make the information you're trying to impact into a game, quiz or competition. Number five, link their current behaviour to their future goals. Connect their behaviour with something important to them, goals they have for the future, their passions, etc. And ask them, does their current behaviour help or hurt this goal? Tip number six, use rewards in reverse. Start all the students on a level playing field, removing rewards for underperformance and disengagement. Number seven, don't take it personally. Understand the backstory for each student and always remember to not take their outbursts personally. Tip number eight, you can't save everybody. Rome was not built in a day and that occasionally you might have to sacrifice one or two for the greater good of the class. We only get three bites at the cherry, so let's make a lasting impression on the majority. Number nine, use various media to communicate your message. Try and increase the use of video or audio, graphics and technology in your presentations. Last but no means least, tip number 10. Make it fun. Where possible, introduce a fun element into your delivery to pique the interest of all concerned. If you like the video you've just seen, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to our website for other content. Mm -hmm.